So everybody, welcome to System Crafters Live. I'm David Wilson, and we're back with another live stream where we get together as a community and talk about whatever uh, topic I've concocted for the week. And uh, this week is no different. Uh, I'm, I'm running a little bit late because I had to take my daughter to the doctor. And um, one thing that's different about Greece than the United States is that in the US, uh, they tend to just kick you out of the room about as fast as possible. Like you're there for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes in an appointment. But in Greece, they'll just talk to you for like an hour and you're sort of just waiting and waiting and waiting for it to end. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we got out of there a little bit late. So I'm a little rushed at the moment. I'm hoping that the stream is gonna do okay. Like right now, it's, it's not looking so good. I can see it being a little bit choppy. Let me know in the chat if the stream seems choppy to you. Um, OBS is giving me all kinds of flashing lights saying that things are wrong, so I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I'm, I'm getting a little bit concerned that it's also restream. That's not tolerating things very well, but uh, let me try killing some stuff because I think that maybe there's some CPU usage that's killing stuff. Yeah, all right. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Can you hear me at least? Let me uh, kill some uh, browsers. Come on, Firefox, cooperate, close. Unbelievable. Okay, let's see if CPU usage goes down somewhat. Yeah, it, this thing is just flipping back and forth between green and red. So I, I test streamed for like an hour today, just like a private stream. Um, I had no problems whatsoever. But the difference is that I was streaming directly to YouTube and uh, now I'm re streaming through Restream. So it goes to YouTube and Twitch. And I don't know if, you, if, if Restream is causing some uh, complications there as well. It seems to be uh, clearing up somewhat though, doesn't it? Like the CPU usage has gone down significantly. I don't know. Goodness. Once again. All right, we'll get this started in just one moment. Let me try one last thing here. Just make sure I'm on the right network. Yeah, okay, I'm on ethernet at least. It's buffering already. Man, this is just a nightmare. This thing's just going to kill my streaming career, isn't it? I think I can see it now. Is it doing it? It seems to be doing a little bit better. All right, let's just get to it. All right, so um, <laughs> let's get into the updates. So... Tomorrow, I'm going to be continuing my work on a uh, 2D platformer game that I've been building for the GitHub Game Off 2022 Game Jam, Game Competition, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a uh, month-long uh, game competition where you you know try to build a game in the span of a month and just see how far you can get. Um, I had a lot of fun last weekend working on it. I've been doing a lot of uh, sort of prep work this week to make sure that this weekend it will go well. Uh, the streaming aspect may not go so well. Funny thing is, last week it was streamed just fine, it seemed, on Twitch. I only streamed that on Twitch, so probably you didn't see it on YouTube if you follow Flux Harmonic on YouTube. So, uh, not sure what's going on with the internet. I don't know if it's streaming service. I see it buffering again. 
I'm going to have to try to just stream directly to YouTube and see what happens at some point soon here. What a disappointment. Okay. So anyway, provided that my internet does not shit the bed as it is doing right now, again, uh, I will be streaming uh, tomorrow and Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday this weekend around 12 p.m. UTC. Not so great time for people in North America, but probably fine for people who are in Europe and the other parts of the world. So uh, if you're able... Definitely join me while I'm doing that. Uh, it's on the Flux Harmonic channels on YouTube and Twitch. That's uh, Flux Harmonic Live on both. So uh, join and just uh, see what I'm doing there. Hopefully, if uh, I don't have any trouble, then it will go well. Oh, I forgot to say hello to everybody. Uh, hello to Ramon, to Max, uh, Elijah, Jeff, Foss Enjoyer, Ashraz, uh, Gunn, uh, Lucas, John, Jeff. I think I said Jeff already. Uh, Richard. Who else? Uh, Anton. I think I got everybody, right? Okay. Jeez. I just see it hitching so bad on my YouTube feed right now. It's so disappointing. So we're going to try to do the stream today and see what happens. I don't know exactly what to say if it uh, totally falls on its face again. So um, I also want to mention that if you would like to support the channel, uh, one cool thing you can do is check out the book Mastering Emacs by Mickey Peterson. It's a really good reference for Emacs. And it, it's kept up to date over the years. So if Emacs releases a new major version, Mickey always updates it for whatever is the, the sort of latest functionality just to make sure that nothing in the book is out of date. Uh, and it goes much deeper than we've gone on some areas on uh, this channel. So definitely if you want to learn more about Emacs, definitely check out the Mastering Emacs book. And if you use the, the link below, uh, masteringemacs.org slash r slash systemcrafters, a uh, portion of the sale will go to support the channel, which is really cool. And I really appreciate uh, uh, Mickey for, for setting that up. Hello to Tetnomog also. From the dark north so let's get into it chat mirror turned off her performance no chat mirror so uh i think it was you gun or maybe ashraz who joked in the chat about uh, having a two two machine set up for streaming for this stream yes i actually do have that set up and things are not working the same way so that's why you don't see uh, chat on the screen unfortunately which also means i don't know if i'm seeing twitch chat at all if anybody's in twitch so who knows but uh, anyway, today, what we're going to try to do, if the stream lets me, is uh, we're going to experiment with the Qtile uh, tiling window manager. I've sort of avoided using Qtile up until now because it's written in Python. And uh, that's sort of just a stupid uh, thing on my part, just because ah, it's Python. It's not like C or something, so why would I want to use it? But it, it's a stupid thing to say that, so... I'm going to try out Qtile for the first time today. I only ran it once earlier just to make sure that it works in Geeks, and it does work. So uh, we're going to try to use Qtile, and uh, the it seems to be pretty featureful in terms of what it can do, and a lot of the configuration is just written in 